Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. Today I'm going to be talking about a special sewing machine foot. This is the edge stitch foot and I got this foot to really help with accuracy in top stitching. I feel like top stitching is one of those things that if it gets a little wonky or out of alignment, it can really make a garment look less professional and less crisp. I mean, that said, I think also people aren't looking at your top stitching that closely, but if you have some perfectionist tendencies, then this edge foot stitch might really help you. Now, this is a foot that I got specifically for my machine. I have a Janome memory craft. So depending on what kind of machine you have, this specific foot might work, but you should really look and see what works for your machine. This foot did not come with my machine and I had to buy it separately. I don't remember right now how much it cost, but it might've been like 15 or $20. So not super cheap, but I do like that I can get really accurate with it. In the demonstration, I will be sewing a narrow hem on this tank top. This is my Miri tank top pattern. And I think that this foot works well for a narrow hem or things like a button band on a button up shirt, anywhere where you need to sew just very close to an edge. So button up shirts really, um, you need to do a lot of top stitching like around the collar, down the, the placket. Um, and I also really like that if you're going to sew like double rows of top stitching on a button placket or on like a button front skirt or something, this foot can really help you dial that in and get it super accurate. Let's get started. Today I'm going to demonstrate using this edge foot to stitch the hem on a Miri tank top. So the way you use it is you um, spin this little metal dial and that will move this plastic guide to the left and right. And there are little markings here to help you um, get really exact on the measurements. And then you can also adjust your needle to the left and right to dial that in and get um, that perfect distance. So I'm going to take off my regular foot and put this one on and then We'll kind of figure out where we want to place our needle. I generally like to start my stitching somewhere that's kind of inconspicuous, like the side seam. So if I'm going to go right here, this is going to be too small. I want a bigger distance between my needle and the guide. So I will move my guide out to the right and I'm going to move my needle to the left. So if I put down my presser foot and the needle, I can use a ruler to measure that distance. So right now, it's about a quarter of an inch. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna lift my needle again. I think this will work for me and for the depth of my hem. So I have my machine set at a 3.0 length and right now the needle is at position 1.0. You'll have to make the adjustments for your hem depth and your machine. Let's just start sewing. All I'm going to do is keep this folded edge lined up with the guide and I'll have a really even hem all the way around my top. So this edge stitch foot is ideally used in instances where you need to top stitch close to the edge of the fabric. So this could be sewing on a pocket, sewing a narrow hem, or sewing things like a placket or a button band. It also is great for times when you need to stitch two rows next to each other, and you wanna make sure that you have that distance between the two rows of stitching as accurate as possible. And here we have this hem, it's pretty even. I had a few little wobbly spots where the fabric drifted away from the guide a little bit, but overall I think it's pretty even. Obviously this works best if you're doing a narrow hem and if you are doing a wider hem, you can use a piece of washi tape or some other guide to use to like get that accurate distance. I will put links down in the show notes to the edge stitch foot that I bought and to this pattern. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. You can also let me know if you have requests for other videos. 
And if you would like to support the channel and this free content, you can buy me a coffee or visit the pattern shop. Links are down below. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you like this video and you subscribe to the channel. Happy sewing.